But who told him? I don't understand. Simon, the guy who threw the acid. And how did the police find him? It was me. I wanted him to be punished for what he did. I didn't mean for your mum to be dragged in. No, you're pleased with yourself. She needs you to know the truth. But if you say you want a lot of the, you're the victim, they have to listen to you. Well, it's up to the court, love. But what we can do is, is get her a good solicitor. The best. Brilliant ones who will be able to explain it really well. And make the jury understand that she's not a bad person. But she might have to stay in prison till the trial. I'm sorry, kid. It's, it's remand. It's not like prison at all. She can take her own straighteners and her, and her makeup, and she can have as many visitors as she likes. I can't visit, though. No, but we can talk to her on the phone. Yeah, and you can write her a letter. Oh, she'd love that. Oh, I bet she'd faint from the shock. Listen, you've done this before, remember? Your proton therapy in Prague. You had six weeks away from your mum. Oh, we had so many laughs, all that shopping and bar crawls. Uh, tell me she's lying. I'm not quite sure with Faith. <laughs> Listen, you've got me, you've got Grumpy, you've got Moira, you've got Granny Faith. I know we're not your mum, but we're going to be here every second for you. That's a promise. Team Dingle, come on. Yeah. We've got this covered. <laughs> <laughs> well? Did you talk to the magistrate? Did you say she'd got a sick daughter in hospital and, and lay it on a bit? What did she plead? Let him speak. Not guilty. She admitted she wanted Joe beating up, but she never knew Simon was going to use the acid. Did you see her? For a minute. A minute? Look, she says she loves you and she's really sorry that she made any of this happen. Yeah, well, she said that before when she nicked the car and the money in France. Why did she have to try and hurt Joe? Why did she even have to get even? Babe, if she'd known it was going to end like this, she'd never have gone near him. I promise you that. No, but it's done now, love, and we've, we've all got to be strong for each other. Hey, Sarah. What's this? Listen, I've got some news that might cheer you up. I've just been speaking to the transplant team, and we've had an offer of a heart that's suitable. A match? Are you sure? Yes. So... If you're happy, we'd like to go ahead. Do you want to get your mum here? Um, there's a bit of problem with that. I can't deal with her mum. 